last day of school. Hand in your textbooks. I hope you got good use out of them. Yeah. Did anyone even bother to remove the plastic wrap? I did. I needed the plastic wrap to keep this sandwich fresh. <laughs> Here. Mmm. <laughs> this is fresh. Which means... <laughs> huh. Turns out I like science. So many great things happened this year. The best, of course, being that Adam and I started dating. <laughs> what? You're dating Mr. Young? <laughs> Here's your textbook, Mr. Young. I can't wait to see what amazing adventure senior year will bring. Wow, that was a boring year. Speak for yourself. I discovered I like French. It's very rich, but mm, magnifique. Really graduating? I can't believe we finished four years of high school. I know. It feels like three and a one year later joke. <laughs> well, there's nothing as special as senior year. I should know. It's my third time. <laughs> Do these blue dresses come in any size other than extra, extra blah? Those hats are perfect! Slap, you're graduating? <gasps> no. Give me your lunches, nerd graduates. Now form a table. Why does this gown have Dang's name on it? I'm helping Dang finish high school so he can finally get his diploma. <laughs> Dang never finished high school. That a serious social issue that affects people close to me. <laughs> Dang just has one final science project to complete, and then he'll graduate with the rest of you. That's great. We should call him and congratulate him. Dang! Dang. <laughs> you call? Dang. But got me instead. <laughs> I'm Pete, the new janitor. You're a kid. <sighs> What's going on around here? People who work in a school are supposed to be adults. And people who attend that school are supposed to be kids. Touche. <laughs> Mr. Tater, tell us what happened to Dang. Well, he was born in a small village outside of Da Nang, the child of poor Chom Chom farmers. I mean, where did he go? Oh, he quit and moved back to Vietnam. What? Why? I don't know. He didn't say. Or he did say, and I wasn't listening. People say I'm a terrible listener. Or they don't. How would I know? Anyway, I see you met the new janitor. What's with you and hiring kids? I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I'm having lunch with my accountant, my dentist, and my gardener. <laughs> so, who's driving? It doesn't make any sense. Dang said he was looking forward to graduating and then resuming his janitor duties only to feel the job is beneath him and do it half-heartedly. Maybe we should go to Vietnam, find out what happened to Dang, and bring him home. Let's do it. Let's go to Vietnam. You don't even know him. And if we bring him back, you'll lose your job. Hey, not everyone who takes a full-time job at 14 is a genius. Let's go get Dang. Yeah, let's do it. Guys, Vietnam is in Asia. Across the ocean, how are we gonna get there? Taxi! You call a taxi. Dang, we thought you were in 
in Vietnam. I am not Dang. I am his much more handsome identical twin. Ding. <laughs> Where are you going? To Vietnam, to see your brother Dang. Forget it. Dang and I are not on speaking terms. <laughs> Did I say Dang? I meant your other brother, Dong. <laughs> Dong? We do not have a brother, Dong. Who would name their child Dong? <laughs> How about Dung? Our beloved brother, Dung? <laughs> Let's go! That was an expensive cab ride. <laughs> Thanks for covering it, Pete. Those must be the fancy hats the leaf monkeys are always stealing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Good thing they don't wear fancy pants. It'll be nice to see Dang again. Yeah, I haven't seen him since, well, ever. I miss that guy. Let's ask if anyone knows where he is. Excuse me, villager? Have you seen Dang? Mr. Tater? How did you get here? I took a plane. I can't afford one of those flying planes. Well, let's see if Dang's around. Dang? You, you are off? Wow. Dang's a really popular name in Vietnam. What are you doing here? You should not have come. Go home and never return. <laughs> Dang, you are the worst head of tourism this village has ever had. <laughs> what are you doing here? You should not have come. Go home and never return. I can't believe Dang wants us to go. We can't leave. My pilot's busy. <laughs> Dang, we're not leaving until you tell us why you left Finnegan. You were about to graduate. From high school? Lucky. <laughs> Master Key needs me. He is very old and can no longer protect the village. I am sad to say he is on his deathbed. Actually, I'm on my death recliner. <laughs> Master Key furnished his hut with all death furniture because he is on his deathbed. Not literally. But he is dying. Hey! You called? What took you so long? I beat her. Rub them for me. How does that feel? Like the cold, careless hands of death have me in the nightmarish grip. <laughs> now do the left. Dang, is this really what you want to do? No, I am rubbing an old man's feet. <laughs> but I have a responsibility. Master Key has protected the village from the leaf monkeys his whole life. I must take his place when he is gone. Dang, give me a bottle of lemonade. It's in the death mini fridge. <laughs> All the stores in this outdoor mall look the same. Let's see what's inside this one. Wow, good use of space. Who goes there? We goes here. We wanted to buy some fancy hats. Oh, welcome. You know, the fancy hat business has been in my family for five generations. As well as long, creepy fingernail disorder. Wait. How do I know you're not secretly leaf monkeys here to steal my fancy hats? Because monkeys have gills. <laughs> I propose a test. If one of you is a leaf monkey in disguise, you will not be able to
for resist stealing my fancy hat. <laughs> Look at my hat. Isn't it fancy? <laughs> Doesn't it make you want to steal? Which means you are not a leaf monkey in disguise. We're really going to miss you, Dane. Yeah, we've been through so much together. Like that time I came to your village. And that time I told you we'd been through so much together. <laughs> I promised myself I wouldn't do this. Goodbye, Dane. And thanks for this fancy hat. I'll think of you whenever I wear it. I guess I won't think of you. That's not going to happen to me. Chin strap. <laughs> I can't believe you guys never thought of this. Oh, we've thought of it. <laughs> take the hat. Just take the hat. What's that? That is the village's oldest and mightiest chom chom tree. It has stood in this village for centuries. Wow. Makes me feel so insignificant. <laughs> then again, pretty much everything makes me feel insignificant. Hey! My nap is over. Make my death bed. And be sure to put death mints on the death pillow. <laughs> yes, master. Dang just said this tree has been here for centuries. Something must be keeping it a sapling. Oh, no. No, it's good. Maybe its rejuvenating properties can help Master Key remain youthful. I mean, oh, no. Mr. Young survived that leaf monkey attack. <laughs> if you're right, then Dan could come back and graduate with us. We did it. We're all going home. Not yet. There's actually still a lot of things we have to figure out first. I mean, this is not as easy as we thought it was going to be. If we're going to figure out how this tree remains young, I'm gonna have to run some tests on the soil. But you don't have any equipment. Actually, I do. I brought my portable science lab. <laughs> wow, this is exactly like our science class back home. Exactly. <laughs> These fancy hats were expensive, but totally worth it. Mostly because you paid. I'm gonna wear mine forever. Until the end of time, I will always have this fancy hat. I don't think you will. <laughs> hey! At least I still have mine. always buy new fancy hats. Whoa, I'm not made of money. Unlike my Uncle Charles, who had his heart replaced with a bag of gold coins. He died. What would you say if I told you there was a way you could get three fancy hats? I don't know. Try it. There is a way you could get three fancy hats. How? Oh, if you asked me that, I would say, how? I need a cover model for my semi-annual spring, summer, fall, winter catalog. A model? I'll do it. Not you. Him. Me? Him? Of course. She can't do it. I sell hats, not paper bags. Are you calling me ugly? Ugly is such an ugly word which is why it's appropriate when describing you. <laughs> okay, it looks like it's the water in the soil that has rejuvenating properties. Something in it is stimulating telomere growth in the tree's genes, causing a de-aging effect. Do you know what this means? Yes. It means I woke up too soon. <laughs> so, somewhere under
Underground is water that prevents aging. Does that mean... I may have found the fabled Fountain of Young. You mean the Fountain of Youth? I found it. I'm calling it the Fountain of Young. So, if we make Master Key younger, then Tang will be free to come home with us and graduate. We did it! We're all going home! No, we still need to find the fountain. I mean, it can't be so simple. <laughs> Unfortunately, I was only able to extract a small amount of water from the soil. Let me see. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Tater, what's wrong with you? Don't listen to her. You've got a beautiful face. Really? Really. Now just let it out. The truth is, I wish she'd pick you to model. I've never done it before. I'm nervous. All the hairs on my back are standing on end. All the hairs on your back? It's just a figure of speech, which I use a lot since I have an enormous amount of hair on my back. <laughs> uh, dang, we have good news. Baby Tater ate all of his strained peas. <laughs> also, you're going to be able to come home. We found a way to make Master Key young again. We discovered special water that keeps the Chom Chom tree young. And works on people. Yeah, but I think it wears off. <laughs> My daddy's a janitor? At least he's not a high school principal. <laughs> oh, no. That means we're gonna need a continuous supply of the water. Looks like we're off to find the Fountain of Young. I've never heard of any Fountain of Young. But there is a legend about the Fountain of Youth <laughs> located in an ancient lost temple somewhere beneath the village. Well, that's no help. We're looking for the Fountain of Young. <laughs> the fountain's location is a mystery. A map of the underground city once existed, but the ancient scrolls have been lost for centuries. Hey, Grandpa! <laughs> you have any crayons? <laughs> Those are the ancient scrolls. Oh, yeah. They were my death nightstand. <laughs> According to the scrolls, the temple should be right below us. And once we find the temple, we'll find the Adam Young presents the Fountain of Young. This is so boring. <laughs> You've been digging for, like, ever. <laughs> Adam, have you noticed anything? You got your hair cut. It looks great. What? No, when would I have... I'm talking about the workers. They're all wearing fancy hats. Uh, not that guy. That guy's hat is mildly ornate at best. I'm saying the leaf monkeys aren't stealing the fancy hats. Well, that's great. No, it's not. Of course it's not. Why would Pete be right? This excavation must have displaced the leaf monkeys. We're destroying their natural habitat. You have to stop digging. What? We can't stop digging now. I'm on the verge of one of the greatest scientific discoveries ever. Yeah, well, is it worth destroying an entire species? I think I found the entrance. Really? You need to choose. It's the Fountain of Youth or me. Fountain of Young. Wow. Guess you made your choice. What? No, I wasn't choosing. I was just correcting the name of the fountain. Is that a new outfit? Love it. My time on Earth is almost up, Bang. We must prepare for you to take over as guardian of the village. I will do anything, Master. You must extinguish the flickering embers of my life in a final battle. To the death! Or I could give you another foot rub? To the death? I 
cannot harm my beloved teacher. Even if I do this? Still no. What about this? Then I will do this. Whew. I taught you that trick. Ah! Master, I will not hit you. Master, I will not hit you. Slab, you look fab. Is all this necessary? It's a hat ad. You're only gonna shoot me from the chin up. You look great. Plus, we were able to use your back hair to make this coat. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. I actually got here a while ago. It just took me 20 minutes to turn the doorknob. <laughs> well, allow me to present. Unless you've come to your senses and want me to do it instead. No? OK. <laughs> this year's fancy hat catalog cover model, Georgian Slabinsky. Oh, phew. Got some Georgian guy to do it. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll be right here for you. Could you be here for him instead? I can't risk even a fraction of your hideous face being in the shot. <laughs> Are you OK, sweetie? No, I am not OK. I can't do this. I'm not cut out for the fast-paced, high-stress world of tiny, secluded Asian village hat factory catalog modeling. <laughs> That's better. What am I supposed to do now? I have no cover model. Or do you? No, I just said I don't. <laughs> This must be it. This is the Lost Temple. We did it! We're all going home! <laughs> Dude, I will tell you when we've done it and it's time to go home. This reminds me of that time we were in that Lost Temple in Vietnam and Adam acted like a jerk and yelled at me. I remember that. I'm sorry, Pete. I'm just upset because Echo's mad at me. But once I discover the Fountain of Young, she'll get why it's important and take me back. I don't know. I think that door might be closed forever. Also that door. Oh no! Our way back! We're trapped! Unlike Echo, who is now a free woman. <laughs> <laughs>